This was the Blanche inquiry in 2019. Kathleen was asked to give evidence about her diaries and she was badgered over and over again to admit that she killed the children. 70 times she was challenged and each time denied having done so. And the forensic psychologist Patrick Sheehan at the time described the inquiry as quite brutal. Uh, Tracy, 12 years ago, I interviewed the Australian law professor Emma Cunliffe about her book Murder, Medicine and Motherhood, in which she said Kathleen Folbig was charged because some medical experts believed the pattern of unexplained infant deaths in a family can only be explained by murder. And as I said, at that Blanche inquiry, Kathleen was brutally treated. Emma Cunliffe commented in relation to the diaries, quote, the inquiry has not sought expert evidence to help it learn about maternal bereavement and its potential effects on a mother's self-expression. But at this inquiry, Sophie Callan SC followed a different path. She invited psychologists and psychiatrists to offer their expert interpretations of the diaries and Kathleen's state of mind when she wrote them. But Tracy, it's a demoralising thought, is it not, that a former Chief Judge of the District Court, Blanche, in 2019, after all the detail of the inquiry argued, it remains that the only conclusion reasonably open is that somebody intentionally caused harm to the children and smothering was the obvious method. The evidence pointed to no person other than Miss Folbig. Tracy, eh? Oh, I was quite broken that night. If you, the, the call between Kath and I was heartbreaking. The way Speakman and Blanche did it was just despicable anyway. You know, we found out it was quite shocking. So I, I, I guess I sit back and I always think back and he said, what would I gain by having a mental health professional in the room? And I felt like screaming out of the courtroom, you know, you would gain everything, you know, because this is yeah. all about mental health yeah. complex grief and everything. It is. So God. Sophie Callan and none team of us. have done an exemplary job. None of us can walk. None of us can walk in Kathleen Folbig's shoes, I can tell you. Uh, obviously, we're both saying don't build up hope, but we may witness a stunning reversal of fortune here. But then you say, Tracy, don't you, at what cost? I mean... I've argued for years, and you've argued, the New South Wales legal hierarchy has known that there were serious questions raised about Kathleen Folbig's conviction, but the New South Wales legal hierarchy refused to take them seriously. I mean, in 2015, for our viewers' benefit, there was a detailed re-examination of the case, and the eminent forensic pathologist Stephen Corder argued that, quote, there is no positive forensic pathology support for the contention that any or all of these children have been killed. And that was 2015. I mean, Tracy, it's just been yep. a nightmare, hasn't it? And then it takes years. It takes years to get an inquiry. And then we have the other one, you know, the second one. All I can say is I urge your uh, anyone that's listening to your program to go back to the inquiry 2022 page. Go down on the first page to the submissions. Read them all. There's over a thousand pages, but it's written very, very well. So everyone can process it. It is Oh, it's just stunning. And if, why she's still in prison right now, and not given a pardon is beyond disgraceful. Absolutely. It's disgraceful. Well, the only, good news, so the, the only good news is this wonderful woman here, she won't like me saying it, but I couldn't care less. She's built a two bedroom <laughs> apartment home for Kathleen on her farm so that Kathleen will have somewhere to go when she gets out of jail and Tracy has told her she'll look after her. You're unbelievable. I keep saying you are a gift from God, Tracy Chapman, a gift from God. Um, we don't know where we go from here, but we, we don't know where we go from here, but we just pray and hope and support, don't we? Justice for Kathleen Folby. That's, That's what it. we're asking for <laughs> because this has any, been anything but. Absolutely. And on the day it happens, we'll talk again. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you, Tracy, for your time. Absolutely.